In addition to marking up photos in JobTread, you can also mark up or annotate multi-page PDF documents. So while we're in this job, you'll notice that in the Files tab, I have a PDF document saved right here. So I can open the document, click on it in order to use my markup tool. When I click on markup, I now am met with all of my annotating tools that are available to me. Now you'll notice that on this PDF, I have multiple pages listed. I also can navigate between the pages really quickly by viewing my page preview. So I can click this little icon in the top left, open up that page preview to navigate quickly between all of my pages. Now this page preview tool is especially helpful when you're using JobTread on mobile because it'll allow you to navigate between the pages while you're in markup mode. So let's start doing our markup here on the first page. I'm going to add in some text and say that this is for the foster family build. Great, click create and now I can center that and maybe even change the color of my text. Perfect. Maybe I also want to add a timestamp so that I know exactly when these annotations were made. So I can click on my timestamp tool, drop a timestamp in there, change the color. Let's go to a teal color and now I can make it a bit smaller to add to the top. When we go into the next page, I might want to indicate the different types of flooring that's used throughout this build. So let's zoom in first and now we'll navigate to the bedrooms and I'd like to add a rectangle to outline bedroom one. Now I can click on this tool in the top left to make the width of the line a little bit smaller. I can change the color of the line as well. And then I also can add a fill to it so that we can truly see that space. Maybe I want to add some transparency to that fill. So I'll go back up into the fill section and make it a bit more transparent. In fact, maybe I'll make this a little bit of a brighter blue. There we go. Now, if I would like to clone this shape, I can click on it, choose the copy option, and now I can drag it into bedroom two as well. And then maybe they're both going to be using carpet. So I'll put a little note up top that says blue equals carpet. Create, and now I can change that text to a blue to make it nice and clear. Maybe then I'd like to indicate the flooring for the dining and the kitchen. So again, I'm going to copy this shape, make it nice and simple for myself, and I can then change the color of it. And we'll go with a green in this case. And then maybe I'll also change the color of the outline line as well. So now I'll add in some more text and say green equals hardwood. Perfect and we'll go ahead and change the color of that text real quick to a green so it's very clear. All right, so let's use the polyline tool. So I'm going to zoom out and maybe I'd like to outline everything on this third page. So I'm going to choose polyline and then I can outline the structure right here. We'll just click on different points to do our structure outline. Great. And as you can see, the outline is taking place and then you can complete your shape. But maybe when we zoom in, we notice that we need to adjust some of those points. So I can double click on that particular shape and adjust these points to make it more precise. Perfect. Let's zoom out. Now, when you're marking up multi-page PDF documents, do note that the active page is going to be isolated when you're doing the markup. So I can click on this page and then when I choose to select all of the items using maybe Command A or Control A, it's only going to select all the items on that active page for myself, not the other markup items as well. Now that we feel good about this, let's go ahead and save our markups. And then they'll be saved on the PDF document for you. And you'll also see the markups right here on the left hand side in that page preview. There may be a time where you need to adjust the markups or add to them or change them. You can always re-enter markup mode and you can change anything that you've done before and you can add to them and make the adjustments as needed, resave, and all of your updates will be saved for you. 
Please contact your customer success manager if you have any questions, or you can email support at jobtread.com and we'll be happy to help you.